act misconduct person to talk about my CPE. So and my channel if this is the first time i am sarah and you are welcome to alera tv um if this, if this is your first time on this channel i want you to go back and watch my first video which was a get to know me and what the channel was going to be about so if you go scroll down you're gonna see as after the introduction video is what follows so i want you guys to go back and watch that so you kind of have the base know the basics um and you know where i'm coming from and you know all that stuff so that our job will be easier i don't know if you know what i mean but it's what i mean i got so um well i also did a video about uh, how to succeed in college tips so if you are in nursing school or let's say you're in college in general and you're trying to learn the, these skills i would say go back and watch that video uh, also it's down there if you scroll down But yeah, in today's video though, we're going to talk about a sens sensitive that I really do not like talking about. Something that happened while I was in nursing school. Well, mind you, I just graduated. I, when I graduated with my bachelor's degree in nursing uh, at a college here in Ohio, Columbus specific. Um, so just a little bit of background. After high school, I went to... Um, a uh, college here in Ohio that's very known um, and wanting to do my nursing but ended up doing just my pre-nursing and then having to go back to this private college that I went to to get my nursing degree um, so getting there and getting my nurse nursing degree everything was all right everything was okay well of course we had a few issues the material da 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 it wasn't all easy it wasn't all um, dope it wasn't all like i don't know how to say it but it wasn't all that i expected because by you i do not have a background of nursing i my family um not while well, doing nursing so it was something very new to me something that i have never um and so so i didn't know what to expect so i was kidding in there so but then i got there uh, as a sophomore, transfer sophomore, and I started taking my nursing courses and everything was fine up to the point where I was a senior. Okay, so everything was fine except up to the point where I became a senior. Well, my first semester as a senior is what the whole issue started. The whole situation started. It's something that I do not want to talk about but I just wanted to talk about it because I feel like if that happened to me and I the end was really good that means that like guys probably tell me that I need to tell it to someone that might find it very encouraging and helpful in their own career and what they're what they're doing what they're about to do so I hope this um helps someone out there I hope this helps someone to realize that things don't just happen to them or how to go about things so that these things don't happen to them I don't know if that makes sense but that's literally what I was trying to say um so yeah so I hope this really helps so say I went to nursing school while well, senior year you still taking nursing courses so there was this specific course that I was in um which is a transition course which is a leadership course which is basically a course where you're left alone and clinicals with a preceptor which is another nurse and a preceptor uh, who will literally supervise you but you have to do what the preceptor does basically you're going to be a mini nurse if that makes sense like a mini 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 nurse um but you can't pass meds without your preceptor you can't pass and you can't do anything without your preceptor basically but you are allowed to do a lot of things um so my first week um I got to know my preceptor, um, 
got to know the people that she works with and on that hospital that I was in. Um, it was a clinic, it was an open ortho, all three clinic um, that I was in. So I got to know her and all that stuff and I was like, ooh, this is actually cool. They made me feel welcome, they made me uh, feel, you know, like, you know, that made me feel like, you know, it's something that I'm going to enjoy. So I was like excited and so my week four, I mean, my first week, I would come there, that's like 35 minutes away from my, where I live. I'll come there three times a week for clinical. And I'll drive there and then I'll spend eight hours since it was a clinic. There was no way for me to do two days, 12 hours, um, because they only did eight hours. And sometimes they, they don't even go through like to the eight hours. Sometimes we end up leaving, we end up leaving earlier than expected. So. So yeah, so basically what I was doing in the clinic is when patients come, I would um, register, ask them questions, uh, and then symptoms and all that stuff, and try and kind of prep them to see the doctor. If that makes sense for like ortho, for like ortho, GYN is the same thing, and OB, you prep them, you prep them to see the doctor. But on Fridays, we would do interviews. Um, I used to watch interviews because that was a whole new thing. I've never done this before. Of course, I had OB, but this was clearly completely different. So, so that that's what we were doing. And my my preceptor, my instructor, which the instructor is the the person that um. So like you know how when you're in clinical, you have a you have an instructor from your school who supervises everything, but this. You have a you have an instructor, but then you also have a preceptor in the hospital who doesn't work for the college. If that makes sense. So my instructor knew my preceptor because they all went to school together. That's what I ended up finding from my preceptor. So that was that, and then so the whole thing that started was my preceptor had an issue with me not knowing how to use abbreviations to chart. Because me, I've always been used to charting, like in all my other nursing courses, with full, like a writing. I use, I'm used to writing in full. I do not like abbreviating. I guess so. I've always been writing it all out. I've never, like, I I do abbreviate sometimes, but it's like a whole lot of abbreviations. She had an issue with that, so she did tell me that I need to learn those because that's what they use here. And then I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to learn them. And then I ended up, I guess, I, I I mean, I was learning, but I guess she expected me to know everything right away. I don't know. So she went and reported me to my instructor, which my instructor took to my actual class teacher, who's the overhead. She oversees all that stuff. Everything is related to clinical and class. So she went and reported me to her. So one night I was done with let's say evening I was on a clinical and then I was getting into my car I got a call from my precept I mean my actual t class teacher and then she was like hi Sarah um well you need to learn oh uh, we need to get you and I need to see you ASAP because you're at the vet like the very verge of like not passing this course because of those things that you don't know you're way behind and all that stuff mind you this is week three and a half yeah this is week three and a half and she yeah all the stuff that you don't know that da, da, da. you have to set up a meeting real quick so that we can discuss all this issues so that you can be back on track so i said okay i, I was kind of nervous because i was not expecting that issue because with me i thought i was doing well i thought i was doing good i thought i was getting there so i didn't see any issue with me but then i guess my preceptor saw something and then went and reported me so that when my teacher told me that I was like, I was so scared. So I got home, sent an email, and she, when she sent that email, she cc'd our, um, what do you call it? Gosh, she's uh, the student ac academic uh, conduct, misconduct, whatever person. So she cc'd that person on the email. So, uh, and then she, on the email, she said that we're gonna meet, meet her, and then that person, the advisor, the academic contact person to have a meeting to meet to discuss some issues so when i went for the meeting um 
it was t all two of them and then they asked me to they gave me a list of terminologies that i need to know and then they were going to quiz me on it so i did learn those and then they quiz me on it i did really well on it so after that they decided to have me come back again to kind of show them how i do patient teaching because mind you in that clinic we do a lot of patient teaching like um uh, first trimester second trimester uh and then third trimester teaching so there's a lot of that going on so they wanted me to kind of display how i would do that which was something that i've done it in clinical before but this is like more in depth i don't know like so i did show them how i would do it um there was a lot of things that i mean there were some things like they corrected me on uh, and then all that stuff and then they also asked me to kind of show them how I do injections which I did tell them what needle I would use and all that stuff and I showed them how to do injections and all that stuff so because my preceptor had expressed her concern about me giving a, an I am mind you I've been having clinical and for like other courses but I never had this oh, that was good and then I got an email from my actual instructor who supervises me at the hospital sometimes. She comes sometimes. She doesn't come all the time to see how I'm doing. So, and then she was saying that uh, the two other professors think that I'm good to go. I can go back to clinical. Um, so I was like really happy, you know. I was so, so happy because she told me that on a Sunday night. No, actually on a Saturday night. And then on a Sunday night, I checked my email and then I saw an email again from the actual class teacher and then she said that uh, she has to meet with me to talk about my CPE tool which is like your clinical